Hello and welcome to this quick video about this thing here. This is the Crossflight from Radiolink. This is a Pixhawk style flight controller that's designed to work with Mission Planner, RD Pilot and other things. Now for those of you that watch the channel a lot, you'll know that I do quite a bit with RD Pilot and Mission Planner. It's the thing that powers pretty much all the VTOLs that I've ever played with here on the channel. It's fantastic for really smooth flying on larger quadcopters, but also smaller quads. It can be tuned for things like 5-inch racing, believe it or not. And it's also amazing for wings. Now, there are a couple of questions that I get regularly when I'm talking about flight controllers, specifically for things like iNav and Betaflight, and lots of the flight controllers that are cheaper that can run things like Ardu Pilot and Mission Planner typically don't come with any pins attached. It requires some soldering. And for some pilots, that is one step too far, because if you're not used to soldering or you're not very good at it, then you're always worried about potentially destroying the flight controller before you've even got everything set up. Now, I've looked at a number of Pixhawk variants on the channel, and we've built quite a few of them out, but they are hundreds and hundreds of pounds, typically. They have vibration-isolated IMUs, redundant sensors, uh, IMU heating elements, so that there's no drift as the flight controller warms up. So I've been looking for a cheaper alternative for those of you that have been contacting me wanting a cheaper alternative for RD Pilot, but also one that already has the pins attached. So I've got this in to have a look. So this little flight controller is a crossflight and it has everything included in the box. You can buy it with and without the GPS. I ordered this accidentally without the GPS and compass, so don't make my same mistake. Although if you do know how to do a bit of crimping and soldering, it's a relatively easy job to add it in because the cable is kind of provided. It has JST GH 1.25 connectors all the way around for everything and all of those come with the appropriate cables. It has 10 PWM outputs, two UARTs, one USB-C port that you can plug it into the computer with. It has a GPS UART I2C squared port for your external compass and your GPS. And if you buy the GPS that's designed for this, it just plugs into that. It will take PPM and SBUS as the input signal, and it has an OSD module integrated on here as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't support D-Shot or One-Shot, but it does support things like Neo Pixel LEDs and other stuff too. Dimensions on this are 39.7 by 39.7 by 13 millimeters. So it's a reasonably small compact weight. And it's about 16.5 grams or about 54 grams when all the wires are connected. The power module that comes with it will support 2 to 12 S. Um, the current is 90 amps and the output voltage is 5.1. So this is quite a cute way to add it to a model and monitor your voltage and your current from the battery that you're using. Processor in here is a HC32 F4 and the gyro is an ICM42670 with a compass and barometer in here too. Now the really attractive thing about this is it costs less than £63 if you get it also with the GPS and power unit. And that's far cheaper than lots of the other hardware that you can get out there that will run things like Mission Planner and Ardu Pilot, but also have everything attached straight out the box. And having that internal OSD chip means that for analog FPV, you're going to be able to have your on-screen display overlaid, which is a nice touch. And you've also got the telemetry port that you can use to run the OSD out to some HDFPV system like Walksdale or DJI. Plugging it into Mission Planner, it just appears as a flight controller with Mission Planner already on it. It's shipped with Ardu Copter, so if that's what you want to use, you're kind of pretty much ready to go. However, if you want to download and flash and update it, maybe change it to Ardu Plane or something like that, Ardu Boat, Ardu Rover, then you do need to download the specific version of Mission Planner from Radio Link because at the moment it doesn't appear that the crossflight is integrated and supported by the generic Mission Planner that you'd use for everything else. So there are only a couple of things to be aware of with this. Um, first of all is that I could only find it listed on AliExpress, which is where I had to get this one from. Secondly, no one-shot or D-shot support. Bit of a shame about that because for smaller quadcopters where you want to use that functionality in the ESCs, that's not available. Uh, not a simple job to flash it with standard Mission Planner if you've ever played with that. However, Using the links below, you can download the Radio Link version of Mission Planner, which will be able to work with it. 
and there's no GPS and compass in my pack. So again, be careful of that when you're ordering it. Make sure that you order it with a GPS and compass would be my top tip. So this is a very cheap way to get a flight controller, GPS and compass unit that you can plug into a specific version of Mission Planner and play with. Now, would I use this on a high-end system? No, probably not. There are bigger, more expensive Pixhawks with vibration isolation and things like the IMU heating element and redundant sensors. None of that is available here. There is vibration isolation in software. Uh, but if you wanted to do something like put a cheap flight controller on an Ardu Rover, a car or something like that, or an Ardu boat or an Ardu sub to play with it, or you wanted to get a flight controller that you could just mess around with Mission Planner and try some stuff that you've seen on YouTube videos, then this is quite a cute way to do it. I'll put links down below for this. Um, normally, Radio Link isn't one of those manufacturers that I think of when I consider Pixhawk but maybe it should be. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.